Happy New Month to you guys. Welcome back uh, to the channel. As usual, I am your host, uh, Selassie Fiawe. Today, we're going to talk about the Black Stars World Cup campaign, which is in 19 days. 19 days, the World Cup will kick off and we'll have the very first game between the hosts, uh, Qatar and Ecuador. But uh, before all that happens, uh, remember, we are hoping to be in Qatar and we need your support uh, to be there. Purchase our merch links in in the description here i'll leave it at a fair comment pinned here as well today we're going to talk about the ghana black stars budget for qatar 2022 uh, the sports minister mustafa yusif has uh, given an update in that respect we're also going to talk about that tackle by mubarak wakasu on uh, majid ashimeru uh, which has got a lot of people talking was it intentional was it not intentional uh, we'll have a look at that tackle and uh, discuss it for ourselves. We're also going to talk about uh, Daniel Efriyabani and Dan Lad Ibrahim, who Ibrahim Tanko, the, uh, the 23 coach, is ready to recommend uh, to coach Otuado. And another player has confirmed Otuado has had engagements with him uh, concerning uh, the national team inclusion for Qatar 2022. All that today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. Let's jump right into it and talk about the Ghana Black Stars budget for Qatar 2022. And it's going to be interesting when I read to you what the sports minister had to say concerning that. Now, over the weekend, as part of activities lined up uh, for Qatar 2022, uh, the Ghana Black Stars had a dinner with the stars and legends. At the dinner, uh, Mustafa Yusuf uh, made it known the budget uh, that was going to be used for the Ghana Black Stars and it was quite interesting uh, to hear what he had to say. This is what he said. Uh, we have budgeted for the entire tournament and where we are going to reach will determine how much we are going to spend. So until we finish the tournament, we cannot tell you how much we are going to spend. Uh, but we have a budget estimated for the entire tournament. So if you have the budget, why not let us know what it is? I don't get what he is saying. He's essentially trying to tell us that uh, it's a blank check that will be offered, a blank check that will be given and allowed to do whatever they want. And then subsequently, when they finish the tournament, they'll render account for us. By then, the money would have been spent. A budget is, I don't know how he understands budgets, but a budget allows you to work within a certain amount in order not to overspend. The likelihood of with Mubarak Wakasu's tackle on Majida Shimeru. I'm sure you've seen it by now, but I'll write it down there for you to watch for yourself. Now, it was a game between Kas Ipen and Anderlecht over the weekend, and it turned out that uh, Mubarak Wakasu looked to have stamped Majida Shimeru on the foot. Now, a lot of people are hoping to see Ajib Ash Majida Shimeru in Qatar 2022 for the Ghana Black Stars. And, this tackle uh, sort of uh, trying uh, to get the ball but didn't get it and stamp on his foot uh, could hinder his, his participation. Now, I've not heard any story about Ashimeru uh, being sidelined uh, for his club side, but many people are concerned uh, that, uh, first of all, uh, Mubarak Wakasu did not show any form of remorse after the tackle. Well, this is my opinion. Uh, football, uh, uh, we sometimes tend to think that players uh, are like us at times. Uh, players are doing their business. For their club side, it doesn't matter if the national team are it doesn't matter the national team allegiance. Uh, they are playing for their clubs and they'll do anything for it. To say that Mubarak Wakasu intentionally stamped uh, Majid Ashimeru's foot is unfair. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and not think that he intentionally did that. That being said, it was a bad tackle. Uh, considering probably that they are uh, of the same nationality and looking to get into the World Cup, uh, it was something we did not expect to happen. But it happens in football. Let's not take it overboard and think that he intentionally did it. Uh, probably the remorse he did not show may, might make you think uh, that he intentionally tackled him like that. But what do you think about the tackle? Intentional? Are people taking it out of proportion? It's a football game. It happens. It can be intentional cannot be intentional sometimes it's not intentional so uh, let's not take it overboard and try to overanalyze it uh, my next story has to do with uh, uh, Ghana Black Stars player Imano Jesse who has confirmed talks 
with coach Otuado. He says, I have a good relationship with a new Ghana coach. We spoke four weeks ago and I made myself at Bay level. I expressed a dream of going to the World Cup. If I'm chosen, I will work for other goals, he told La Gazeta de los Sport. Uh, before Spezia's game against Fiorentina in the Serie A, Jesse made his Black Stars debut against South Africa in an AFCON qualifier last year. He's a Spezia captain. He's part of the players in the professional squad. Looking at this one here, he has had conversation with Coach Otoado. So uh, we are looking closely and hoping uh, that in that striking department, he might be one of those who could be leading the line for the Ghana Black Stars. My final story has to do uh, with Daniel Afriye, Ebanye and Dan Lad Ibrahim, who the Black Meteors coach Ibrahim Tanko says he will gladly recommend uh, the two uh, to Black Stars coach Otoado. Now, the two home-based players have gotten huge support from the supporting public uh, to be selected for the Black Stars squad ahead of the World Cup. Ifri Ebanye was the only home-based player in the September friendlies against Brazil and Nicaragua. The House of Oak man got some game time against Nicaragua in their 1-0 win. The duo are currently in the Black Meteors camp uh, where they defeated F Mozambique 4-1 on aggregate to progress to the next round of qualifiers versus uh, DR Congo. According to Tanko, the two Af African under 20 champions have the ability and if he is consulted, he will vouch for them. The coaches are watching. I'm sure they will have a tape of this game as well. I mean, a free year download, it's obvious. Everyone is talking about them and they have the quality. In terms of on the pitch and on the pitch, uh, they are captains and when you see how they are handling the boys, you will know that these are leaders. Definitely, Otoado is my friend. And if he asks me for these two guys, definitely, I will say yes, a tanko added. So ready to vouch for them to go to Qatar. Let me know your thoughts on including Dan Lad and Ifriye Banye in the Ghana Black Star squad. Right? Wrong? Let me know what you think. And uh, on that note, I end today's bulletin. But goalkeeper, training coach, uh, Richard Kingston has absolute confidence in all of his goalkeepers ahead of the World Cup. He says, the goalkeepers we have now have confidence and you can see that from the recent games we have played. Really? Can we? And they want to do something for the nation and for me, the department is safe. Anybody who gets a chance to be in the post will give up his maximum best, he said. So, we'll see who gets the chance to be in the post uh, for uh, Ghana at Qatar 2022. I'm sure he has settled on who that should be already. Who should that be, in your opinion? Let me know in the comments box. So that has been it for today. Budgetary allocation for the Ghana Black Stars ahead of Qatar 2022. Also been talking about Dan Lad Ibrahim and Afriye Banya being recommended by Ibrahim Tanko. Also talk about that tackle from Rakasu on Majida Shimeru. Imano Jesse confirms talks with Otoado. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,